Hi everyone and welcome to this week's Meals in the Making. There's not a theme for this week. Actually, he always tries to ruin my intros. I guess you could call the theme for this week chicken because I'm using chicken in both recipes. But that's about it with the similarities with them. Um, my kitchen right now is absolutely a mess. We had a party here yesterday for Super Bowl and so I'm gonna have to get that cleaned up in just a second but I wanna go ahead and get dinner in the oven. So our first meal that we're gonna be making is broccoli cheese stuffed chicken breast. I don't think I've ever made it for this channel but I feel like I have but it's not for meals in the making. So I'm gonna show you how to make that either the first time or maybe the second time right now. Let me show you what's in it. For this recipe you will need two five ounce boneless skinless chicken breasts one cup of raw broccoli, half a cup of fat-free or low-fat shredded cheddar cheese, a fourth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and half a teaspoon of garlic powder. The first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and preheat my oven to 400 degrees, and my camera is dying, so if I start talking really fast, that's why. I've also taken and put some foil onto a pan for myself in just a second. Okay, so I already cut these down so they were six ounces each. I just trimmed the fat off of it. The next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and butterfly these or cut these in half lengthways, but not all the way through because we are gonna be closing them back up in a second. The camera died, so I had to get the other camera that has a broken viewfinder, but that's okay. So as you can see, I've already butterflied one piece of chicken. I'm gonna butterfly this other one. Perfect. The next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and season these with my cayenne pepper, not very much of it unless you wanna burn your taste buds off, and my garlic powder. So for my cayenne pepper, I'm gonna do about an eighth of a teaspoon per chicken breast. And you actually want to do the inside and then a little bit of the outside. I'll show you. a fourth of a teaspoon per chicken breast. I love this recipe because it's so very simple. So very simple. The next thing that I'm gonna do is take about a cup of broccoli and I wanna cut it down some because it's not gonna fit in my chicken if I don't do that. So I'm just gonna cut this down a little bit. The next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and fill my chicken with my broccoli. Remember, each one gets about a half a cup of broccoli. And then we're gonna cover this with a fourth a cup of cheese each. Now this fourth a cup of cheese equals one ounce of your protein. I get that question a lot. What does cheese count as? So a fourth a cup of cheese equals one ounce of protein. You'll notice that my, I told you earlier my chicken breasts are five ounces. That is to make sure that I had enough protein left for my cheese. You wanna leave a little bit for the top. Now comes the tricky part. You have to fold over the chicken and you want it to close. So I've got my toothpicks here and I'm gonna push those through. Know that you're probably not gonna get the whole thing to close, so just get as much as you can to close. The next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and put these onto my tin foil lined baking sheet. Lastly, you're gonna to top this with just a little bit of cheese each. Then I'm gonna pop these into the oven until the chicken is cooked through, the broccoli is cooked, and the cheese on top is melted should take about 35 to 45 minutes depending on how cooked you like your chicken and how your oven works. Oh my goodness, doesn't this look delicious? Well, can you see where the chicken is and all the extra cheese? So this little puppy here is one leaner, one green, so make sure you add two more greens with like a side salad or some green beans or something. And then also it's one and a half condiments. Enjoy. 
Hey everyone and welcome back to day two of Meals in the Making. I'm currently making hot tea behind me, so that's what you hear. I'm having Earl Grey tea without anything added in it because that's how I like my Earl Grey tea. Anyway, and also because that's how it's program approved. Anyway, welcome to day two of Meals in the Making for this week. I'm super excited for today's recipe, although I feel like I say that every single time. If you watch my vlogs, which if you're not, you should. But if you watch my vlogs, you'll know that around Christmas time I put out a vlog and in that vlog we made foil packets for, I need to say that correctly, we made foil packets for dinner one night and so I have come up with a program approved recipe for that and so that is what we are having today. Well, let me show you what you need for these foil packets. For this recipe, you will need two six ounce boneless skinless chicken breasts. Keep in mind you might have to cut the chicken breasts down. One cup of bell pepper, you can use any color you'd like. One cup of broccoli, one cup of green beans, two tablespoons of light ranch, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, fourth a teaspoon of salt, a fourth a teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of lemon juice, and one teaspoon of olive oil. Of course, the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and preheat my oven to 375 degrees. The next thing I'm gonna do is start chopping my veggies. I just wanna cut my broccoli down a little bit. I'm gonna cut my bell pepper into chunks, not necessarily strips, not necessarily diced, just big chunks. And remember, we need a cup of each green. that is only six ounces. These are humongous. There's a good chance I'm gonna have to cut these down. Okay, before we put this all together, I'm gonna go ahead and make my sauce. So we're gonna start with two tablespoons of light ranch. One teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. I have the low sodium one, but you don't have to have that one. Any Worcestershire sauce will do. One teaspoon of natural lemon juice. Can lemon juice be anything but natural? One teaspoon of olive oil. One-fourth a teaspoon of salt. Woo! And one-fourth a teaspoon of pepper. I'm gonna give that a stir. Why get something else dirty, right? Might as well just use what you've already got. So it should look a little something like this. And now we can start putting together our foil packet. Foil packet. <laughs> okay, so to do so, we're gonna take our chicken. And then I usually line mine or like put the vegetables around it. I say usually, I've only done this one time. So half a cup of each. I know if you are in maintenance, you can also add potatoes to this. Okay, and then I'm going to put half
half of my sauce over it. And then I'm gonna wrap it up. Just make sure it's closed all the way. It really doesn't matter how you do it as long as everything's in tight. And then I'm gonna put this on a cookie sheet just for easier access later on. And then I'll repeat with Robbie's. Set a timer for 40 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 40 minutes. He pulled out our dinner for me while I was on the phone and he said, I said, it looks pretty good. And he said, it is good. <laughs> he's been tasting it. So this is one leaner, three green, 2.75 condiments. So you get a fourth of a condiment left if you can find something for that and one healthy fat. Enjoy. No. <laughs>